And we do all of this in an attempt to keep persons safe. So if you do have a vaccine, we think that the risks that is associated with a person who's vaccinated in terms of getting worse will be a lot more decreased. And so once that risk stratification has been done by Dr. Corey Ford and his team, then you can, after a short stay within the isolation facility, you can apply for home isolation. Once approved, again, this person will now be allowed to safely isolate at home with the constant monitoring of healthcare professionals. It will occur daily. It will occur at random. In addition to that, we also have technological measures in place in terms of GPS monitoring bracelets to ensure that you do what you're supposed to do. Yes, we expect that you will be honest and you will stay home, but we want to put that additional mechanism in place to ensure that persons stay at home and do what they're supposed to do. On top of that, there's another layer, which we will have random check-ins with healthcare professionals who may, for instance, not necessarily turn up at your door and knock on it, but may ask you just to present yourself to the door uh, to ensure that you are there and what we are seeing is actually true. Okay, all of these are mechanisms to ensure the safety. And this is something that has been done in a lot of international countries. We've seen this here in Canada. We've seen home isolation, home quarantine programs in Australia. This is, this is not anything new. But we want to ensure that we're coupling both the safety in terms of healthcare, health professional backup, in addition to technological implementation. Once you have safely undergone your home assessment, your symptoms have resolved, and we assess you every single day, and we believe that you have recovered based upon the trajectory that we have seen for cases, delta cases, al alpha cases, then we know that you are now safe to leave isolation. There are certain criteria in accordance with WHO that we use to, to essentially leave isolation and now be considered safe to return to community. And essentially, that's what the program is all about, uh, allowing you the comfort of being in your home, but also ensuring that you are safe not only to yourself, but also to the community.